Look at this, howdy, howdy. Long time no see, guys. <laughs> so, um, when the off-season program begins, it's kind of like the unofficial, official, voluntary start to the new season. There's a lot of talk about the offensive line. There's still a draft to go. Mm -hmm. We've asked you incessantly, yeah. left, right, left. Where, where are you at? Just kind of wait and see mode, or you know, or are you, have you been working some? Yeah. And the, the chances you might have. To do? Yeah, I've been, I've definitely been working it just in case. Um, I've been working both, just covering my covering my bases, you know. Um, not only anything's been confirmed, you know. I've heard, I've been seeing what you know everyone on Twitter says. So we'll wait till the draft. We'll wait till we sign somebody or whatever happens, you know. So um, whatever happens, happens. I'll be ready. Um, but yeah, I, ha I have been working it. One of the things for sure, you're going to have a new starting right guard mm -hmm. next to you, probably an in-house guy. Um, there's there's a lot of talented. Guards on this team. Absolutely. Experience. What are your thoughts about about the guard position and you know, who might be aligning it next? Week? You know, I'm I'm excited. You know, I love the guys we have in the room. Obviously, I miss Shaq. Um, that one stung. Um, I was hoping to play next to Shaq for like three years, but you know, that's that's part of it. So, um, but Hainsey, Luke, Stinney, Nick, like all those guys, they're all they're all great players. Um, I have 100% trust in them. You know, I love them to death. Um, you know, all of us showed up. You know, first day of of OTAs, so that was that was really good to see. Um, even Jensen was here, um, but no, it was it, it's good. I you know I love those guys. I have 100% confidence in them. So, however it shakes out, it shakes out. You know, we got a long ways to go, um, but it'll be it'll be fun to see that uh, that whole thing shake out or whatever it whatever it comes down to. You mentioned Jensen. He's obviously being being a center. Mm -hmm. you know, one of your team leaders and, and all that. Uh, at the same time, Ali Marpet's gone. He was the team captain. Mm -hmm. Donovan Smith's gone. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, you're one of the older guys in the room, believe it or not. I know. It's weird, right? Now, are you, you've you been a bit of a, maybe a reluctant leader mm -hmm. at times. Are you ready to kind of take more ownership, more leadership of the offensive line now that you've established yourself as one of the, not just the best offensive line in Tampa, but across the league? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I kind of I don't want I don't want to I don't want to say take over the room that's not that's that's not the right phrasing but um you know I want to be somebody that the guys can turn to or or, or you know it's going to be the voice of the offensive line you know that's going to um, you know stand up for us when when need be um, and and kind of take the brunt of things when you know if things aren't going so hot so um, I think I'm I think I'm more than ready to do that um, I think it's I think it kind of started started last year and it's kind of been snowballing into into where we are now but um. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Been a lot of changes as we talked about. A new offensive coordinator as well. Mm -hmm. What's your impression of uh, Dave Canales? Yeah, I think Coach Canales is awesome. Um, I think today was really the first time um, I got to hear like, well, all of us got to really hear him like kind of talk. And we, you know, today we really just went through like um, our offensive philosophy, just you know what we want to do as an offense and and how we want to get it done. Um, I've had a couple conversations with him. Just you know, I've been here all off-season trainings, just bumping into him in the hallway. Um, but you know, I think he's awesome. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be great. I'm, I'm really excited, and you know, I know all of us, all the old lines, are really excited to, to get cracking on the playbook. Is there anything that gets you guys, your group? I mean, last year obviously there was, you, know, you didn't run the football. Mm -hmm. You didn't run the football a lot. Mm -hmm. When you did, it wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. Now comes a guy that says, I'm all about running the football. We're yeah, gonna, we're going to do it, and. Yeah, I think especially I think all offensive linemen want to run the ball, and um, when you know a guy comes in and says this is what we're going to do, this is going to be our identity, and you know we're going to base we're going to base things off of the run game and sure. um, and and uh, get our explosives off of that and tie everything up. So it's it's going to be good. I'm I'm excited. Just we got a, we got like a little taste of it yeah. today, you know. So I don't even. No playbooks yet. I don't even know anything, and I'm so excited. I, I just, I, I just saw the philosophy thing, and I was, I was ready to go. So, yeah, yeah, watching them, I'm playing against them. So, um, but no, I'm, I'm excited. What was your impressions of Baker Mayfield? Was this the first time you saw him uh, today? Or? Um, I saw him a couple weeks ago. He was in, he was in the weight room, just talking with AP. Um, I think me and Co were going out to run, and you know, we just said what's up. Um, but I mean. I've watched Baker. I watched Baker play when he was in college. Like I've, I've been, 
as soon as it happened, I was just everyone's asked me like, "Oh, what do you think?" I was like, "I'm really excited to be his teammate." You know, I think he, um, I think he's a dog. I think he loves, you know, loves being a part of a team. I think he loves his teammates, and that's what I'm really excited to to experience. But this quarterback room, I mean, you know that with Tom Brady gone, there's going to be a, a drop on this because you, you had Tom Brady. But what is this quarterback like room room like now with with Baker with Trask with the competition there? Yeah, I think it's gonna. I think it's going to open up a lot of options for us. Um, you know, both those guys can can run around with it a little bit. Um, you know, as much as I love Tom, you guys you guys know how I feel about Tom, but it'll be you know he can't run. But so it, it'll open up a little you know some new stuff for us, um, and it'll be it'll be really exciting. With the outside zone stuff, how is that different from what you've been doing? What does that allow you to do as an offensive line? You know, to, to focus more on some of that. I think it allows us to set stuff up like, I don't know, we could capture the edge, capture the edge, capture the edge, and then something out the other way, you know what I'm saying? So, um, everything looks the same. Yeah, make, making it all look the same till it's not, you know? Um, so that'll be, that'll be really nice. Did you use that much in Iowa? A little bit, yeah. We ran a ton of outside zone at Iowa. I don't we didn't do it, we didn't. Come off it a whole a whole lot, but we ran a ton of outside zone in Iowa. But it's not foreign. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that's. I'm excited for it. Are you excited to possibly like get out in space a little bit more, show your athletic ability? Because we know you can move. We've seen you jump out of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll definitely it'll definitely be fun, kind of to get back to, um, kind of what I came from almost, you know, and and from the the small glimpse of what we saw today, you know, there's going to be a lot of you know of. Of good, you know, of good stretch, and then kind of just—I don't want trickery. Not trickery isn't the right right word, but it's just—I think it's very offensive line friendly. Um, I think that's a good way to put it. Um, you know, it'll be it'll be really really nice for us, and and I don't know. I think it'll just help help us out a lot. You know. Tristan, last year you guys won the NFC South, but you, you finished eight and nine, mm -hmm. eight and ten. You consider it the home playoff loss to yeah. Dallas. It, does this team have? A bit of a chip on his shoulder from last year because it it, it, it was it didn't end the way you wanted it to. And, yeah. And nobody wants to have a losing record. Yeah. Um. I think you could say. If you want to say we have a chip, or people want to think you know have a chip on our shoulder, then that's fine. You know, it. it that's not how I think of it. You know, like yeah, we won the, we won the South, but it wasn't much to it. You know, really. Um. So I think. I think we want to kind of what we're going to do this year is establish a good culture and and you know look, kind of let that let that breed itself you know um, we want it to kind of infect the whole team and and everyone to be on the same page and us to be you know a unit and you know we got a new thing up on the board that says attitude breeds responsibility um, and I don't know I think that kind of speaks for itself it's you know it you're not responsibility isn't just going to come you know I, I I've I don't know you guys have heard me say it so many times like there's two things you can control attitude and effort um, I've been saying it for 3 years so um I think if everyone kind of buys into that it's going to be going to be really good and you have, you you got your Super Bowl champion you have a lot of guys that have won the Super Bowl mm -hmm. into the playoffs you know now 3 years in a row and two different time division all that stuff right mm -hmm. learn that's culture winning is culture yeah, a pretty good culture in this room to begin with. But can you know? Can will that carry over? I mean, Tom Brady's gone. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's documented how good he is. But does does what you guys accomplish with him here, all that all that work, all that ethic, does that does that now is on you and others to, to continue with the young players? Yeah, I think it is. Um, in a, in a, in a certain way, I feel like um, winning the Super Bowl was kind of like a blessing and a curse at the same time. Um, I feel like it united some groups of people or some guys, and it kind of made individuals. Um, and I feel like it does that everywhere, yeah. you know. Um, so we want everyone to be together. be together, you know, and everyone to be like, yeah, we've done this, that we did that with this group of people right. in this year. That's in the past. We're here now. Yeah. We know what it takes, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, for us to get everyone on that same page of knowing what it takes to get that done, um, but not letting there be any individuals is um, everyone with – one goal, one collective in mind, um, all working for the same thing. Okay. Thanks, 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 guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah.